this one in the mail time is gonna be crazy. When it came in, I even forgot what it was, but now that I remember, I am pretty stoked. So yeah, stay tuned. Away here coming at you with another episode of mail time so this mail time is gonna be a little bit different because there's a lot of stuff in here that I wasn't expecting to get and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys wouldn't expect me to get either so you'll see what I mean when we go through it but yeah that white package that one at the end is gonna be lit so we'll save that for last but yeah let's just jump right into it all right so this first one comes from I think sneakers and stuff and it's actually kind of old so yeah Man, what I love about sneakers and stuff and, and clothing and clothing, they're both like UK companies, I believe. But anyway, like their box and packaging is so on point. I like it. Oh yeah, that's what I ordered. <laughs> so first one is a 350. You guys have probably guessed what this is. It is actually a pair of the Yeezy Butters. I mean, I don't know. It, this is the first time I'm seeing it in hand and I don't like it at all. It's... It's not very good. It's not very good in my opinion. Um, and it actually bricked pretty darn hard. If you guys didn't watch my resale prediction video for these things, the numbers on there were almost exactly on point of where they're reselling at now. A lot of these things were sitting in like Foot Locker, Shoe Palace, things like that. So if you guys don't think the Yeezy hype is dying, it definitely is. I also think that with this one specifically, it just isn't a nice colorway. It's not very functional. You can't wear it with a lot of stuff. But I will tell you this, as much as I hate on Yeezys, and I'm not like a big fan of like the V2s and the V1s and stuff like that, I am very hyped for the Sesame colorway that is coming out later in the fall. So yeah, it as much as I hate on them, I do think that some of the colorways can be good and some of them can be functional. This one, not so much. All right, so that's package number one. On to the next one. This one is actually from Yeezy Supply. So like I said, it is a very uncharacteristic Untied Hawaii video because all you guys know, I'm not big on Yeezy, but for some reason I'm ordering a lot of Yeezy stuff. I don't know, maybe, maybe there's like a shift here going on. I don't think so. And before you guys guess, it is not a <laughs> another Yeezy Butter. I wouldn't make you guys watch two of the same unboxings in one video. This one is interesting. It is actually clothing from Yeezy Supply. Yeezy Supply dropping like prices on all of their products basically from previous season. So I thought that was pretty cool because I actually like some of the Yeezy look. Um, it's just I'm not willing to pay $500 for a pair of pants, which is insane. But I do like the colors that he uses for a lot of the things. They're like muted blacks or like rays and things like that so the tones that he uses are actually nice i just don't want to pay the price for it so when i saw that these things were cheap and they were like on sale i was like okay let's go check it out and yeah i ended up getting two pairs so this one is the calabasas sweats and again this one is like kind of in a maroon you can see calabasas running on the side i think these run large actually so you got to size down on these things but it is a nice color so this was the maroon and then the other color that we got is obviously like that black or like that like faded black kind of look. Again, I like a lot of the colors I use for his stuff. So yeah, this one is nice too. And now another box from Adidas and another Yeezy. I have no idea why I'm copying so much of these like Yeezy branded stuff. The pants, yeah, that makes sense. I'll keep those. The butters, that wasn't for me. This one I'm probably going to keep too though, but there might be a shift here. Who knows? Let's check it out. So this one is actually a Yeezy 500 box. You guys can probably guess what it is just from the box. These are the Yeezy 500s in that utility black colorway. I also did a prediction video for this one. And that one I think was within $10 as well of what the resale is going for for these. And resale is not very high. It's maybe like $30, $40 over retail right now. But I do think that they will go up over time. The blush is moved up quite a bit. And these things are actually growing on me a lot more. I have no idea why. I think the model is still kind of interesting. But in terms of comfort, I wore these like for the first time like a couple days ago and it was really, really comfortable. So because of that, I'm starting to get more into it. Maybe it's my age. Maybe I'm getting into that whole dad shoe trend thing or whatever. But I don't know. It just is starting to appeal to me more. Maybe that's what hype is. You know, you start to see it a lot more. You see it on Instagram. You see it on feet. And then it kind of just grows on you, I guess. And I'm guessing that's what Kanye is going for because again, initial impressions of these were not good. But now they're not bad. They're not great. But I mean, I'm into it now, I guess, a little. Oh man, Untied, you, you're putting yourself in a hole on this one. <laughs> uh, anti Yeezy, but you know what? You gotta be open to all different kinds of shoes. You can't just stick with Nike, you can't just stick with Adidas. Just be open to everything and you never know. Things like this, it's not so bad. 
Okay. And the last piece that I was most hyped over, like I was saying, is this white piece. Um, this one comes from Supreme. I don't know if you guys can guess already from the shape of it what it is, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited because I didn't think I was going to cop this and I kind of didn't want to. There was like a half second hesitation when I was trying to check this out, but I ended up doing it anyway and it ended up being pretty good. So let's take a look at what we got. Oh, we got a sticker pack. This one is the Mona Lisa one. You can see right there. That one's actually pretty nice. I like this one. And then there's like the Supreme Octopus sticker, which is also pretty okay. And then obviously a box logo. So that's nice. Last drop of the season and ended up getting some stickers. So that's cool. Always good to have a bonus item like that because Supreme stickers actually have good value if you hold them for like a certain amount of time. So keep that in mind when you guys are copying this kind of stuff. But the real prize is in this Supreme bag, man. And <laughs> It is interesting. So this is a Supreme life vest. Um, yes, it is a life vest made with Supreme branding on it. Completely useless for a lot of the US. If you're not by a coast, if you're not by a lake, if you're not by an ocean, it makes no sense to get this. And even if you do live in those areas, it still makes no sense to get this. Ugh, I mean, I live in Hawaii. I was like, okay, it's somewhat functional. I can kind of justify it, but at the same time I can't. Yeah, you can see the Supreme branding running down the back over here. Each of these like little straps also says Supreme on it. And yeah, at the top, O'Brien's Supreme box logo, US men's large 40 inch to 44 inch chest. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. I mean, there actually is really good resale value on these things. They did sell out and they're going for at least $100 over their retail pricing. Kayak, no, that was a bust. I think they're barely going for retail now, something like that. It's not very high. The life vests were a lot better. I have no idea why. Obviously, that kind of stuff down the road will go up a lot more in resale value, but I might be basic and extra and I might use it for a couple video ideas that I have. So stay tuned for that. I mean, I do live in Hawaii. I might as well use it, right? I do know how to swim though, so I don't really need it. And I don't have a boat, so I really don't need it. And that's ah, that's a lot of what Supreme is, man. Stuff you don't need, but you buy because it says Supreme on it. And it makes no sense, but you do it anyway and it sucks. This one is actually pretty nice. <laughs> but yeah, so cop that. Not feeling bad about it. It's definitely not a regret purchase. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Too extra, not extra enough. Anyway, that's it for this video. That's it for this mail time. A lot of easy stuff and then some kind of crazy supreme item. So it was a nice mail time overall, man. I liked it. I enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, stay humble, stay blessed. Take care, guys. I'll see you. Aloha. Shoots.